Philippians 1 6 says, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. What God has begun in your life, He Himself will see through to completion. Several months ago, and in fact, over a year ago for us, we began this journey together. Our prayer has been that you would come to know God more significantly, more personally, more intimately as you experienced Him at work in and through your life. Today we're going to briefly review the past 12 units and identify what God has been doing in our lives. But then we need to spend some time with the Lord taking a spiritual inventory of our present walk with Him. If God has been at work in your life through these studies, He has been preparing you for more intimate fellowship with Himself and for assignments in His kingdom. I hope you're coming to this time with a deep sense of God's presence and activity in your life. What God has begun in our lives, he himself will see through to completion. Before we start going over all of these units, I just want to say thank you for coming on this video journey with me. I don't remember if I've shared it before how I started this study or how I came back to this study, but I 100% believe that God had it in mind for me to bring you these videos. Long ago before I started video number one, I was sitting in the pastor's office talking to the pastor about knowing and doing the will of God. How do I know if what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling or doing is God's will? And sure enough, as I was sorting through piles of books in my lap, this Experiencing God book popped up. Experiencing God, knowing and doing the will of God. And I just looked at the pastor and I said, well, I've got to do this now. And I am not a daily devotional kind of person. It's very hard for me to dedicate sitting down at the same time every day and trying to do a study. So I knew that if I could take you on this journey with me, if I had to sit down and make a video of it, it would inspire me to keep going and to keep learning and growing. I actually could not have done this without you. Halfway through this series, I started to get a bit discouraged, not knowing if any of you are out there listening or watching or appreciating this series. And I sat it aside for a while because it is a lot of work. But just when I started to get discouraged, I'd get a comment from a youth group out there who was listening to this series and taking value in the learning, asking why I didn't finish the rest of the series. And I realized that this was bigger than me, that this was not just about my personal growth, but it's about your opportunity to experience God. So that was the second time that God put it back in my lap and said, Jen, finish this. Experience me. And even as I got discouraged later on, there were YouTube comments that would crop up every now and then saying, this study is great. I can listen to it while I walk my dog. Hearing that others may even take this and use it in their own classes or personal studies. And honestly, I couldn't feel more blessed to be a part of that. So if you've taken any value in doing these 50 some videos with me, drop me a comment below. Just let me know that God has touched your heart in some way. Or if you realize that you've been experiencing God differently, I would love to hear that. I would love to rejoice in that with you. I would love for us to experience koinonia together. So thank you. Now, we recently reviewed the seven realities of God. I'll go over them again. The first one is recognizing that God is always at work around you. Second, God pursues that loving relationship that is personal and real. God invites you to become more involved with him. God speaks by the Holy Spirit through prayer through circumstances and the church in order to reveal himself, his purposes, and his ways. God invites you to join him, and that will always lead to a crisis of belief that requires both faith and action. You have to make major adjustments in your life in order to join him in what he is doing. And then finally, you come to know God by experience as you obey him, and he accomplishes his purposes through you. So which one of those realities of God has become most meaningful to you, and why? We always do those summary statements. Did any of them stand out to you? Have they touched you in a particular way? Have you continued to carry them on with you through this study? How has God used the scripture in your life? Think about your most meaningful experience of God in the last year or in the last 12 units if you're doing this daily. What name of God is the most meaningful to you and why? Pray real quick and ask the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts as I read through the next following statements, and you can decide which one best describes your love relationship with God. One, it grows sweeter every day. Two, it's a roller coaster ride. Three, you're bubbling over with joy. Four, lukewarm. Five, like a tree planted by water. Six, it needs a tune up. Seven, cold. Eight, solid as a rock. Nine, deep and wide.
which one of the following of these best describes how you feel about your relationship with your church and why? One, you feel ready for a marathon. Two, you're in training. Three, out of shape. Four, recuperating at home. Five, in for tests. Six, in the progressive care unit. Seven, satisfactory condition. Eight, critical condition. Or nine, in intensive care. What is your greatest spiritual challenge? What would be the most meaningful thing your small group or your Sunday school class, your close Christian friends could pray about for your spiritual growth walk with the Lord? You may consider sharing that with them or down in the comments below. We'll pray with you. What do you sense that God would have you do next to continue your training as a disciple of Christ? What, if any, specific assignments do you feel that Jesus is calling you to? How are you praying for your church and her relationship with Christ? What does God want you to do to help others in their walk with the Lord? Here are some that you could feel God leading you to do, or you can fill in your own blank, but could it be to bear witness to what God has done and is doing in your life? What about helping a group you already work with to know and experience God in this way? Maybe you feel led to offer to lead a group study of experiencing God. And by all means, use these videos if you do. Or maybe you just want to encourage others to participate in the study of experiencing God. There are lots of other discipleship opportunities and books out there. And maybe you feel led to do one of those classes, to lead a group in some other training course in discipleship. Maybe this is the time. Maybe God's using me to tell you. Take some more time to pray here. Think about what God is doing and has done in your life, in your family, in your small group, in your church, in your denomination, and in the world. God has been so gracious to allow me to join him as he has been working in your life. I thank God and I praise him for the many wonderful things that he has done in our day. Now the author ends with a piece of scripture with a blessing that I would also like to say to you, which says, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Again, I thank you for joining me on this journey, for helping me get through it, and being my spiritual support in the body of Christ. Let me know if you enjoyed this study. Leave me a comment saying you might like another book study like this, maybe something a little shorter, and I will listen. I'll make further discernments with your help through scripture, prayer, and circumstances. Thank you all. I appreciate you very much. And may God bless you on your journey from here.